So Lynn, I know uh, you started your business after you had your kids, so I'm curious to know why you decided to start a business rather than um, getting a job again. Well, I was taking time off from a job I had been in previously and was trying to figure out what I wanted to do next. And I actually hadn't really gone through the process of thinking about what that was going to be. But I found myself, in the time that I had off, I was constantly setting my friends up with babysitters and nannies, and I just like to match make in general. <laughs> right. And the, this issue of finding childcare and finding trusted childcare kept coming up with my friends. And so I started noodling on the idea, and next thing you know, I was moving forward with the business. That's so exciting. So did you put together a business plan? I know you actually acquired funding, which is really exciting because I know our audience would like to know how you did that and what you need to make that happen. I did. So I put together a business plan initially. Um, I took a, a step back before I dove into the business and I looked at the market landscape to figure out if it was a business that could be big enough. Um, I looked at what skills were needed and I realized that I I had the business skills, but I definitely didn't have the technical skills or the product skills. So the first thing I did was find a team to work with me. And once my business partners and I got up and running, and we had a, a very, very rough product, we went out and received an initial round of funding from investors. Wow, that's great. And and now, are you still seeking more funding, or are you growing to different markets? I know you're in San Francisco and Los Angeles, and how's the the growing process going for you guys? We've grown quite a bit. So we're now in about 15 different markets. And um, we did go and get a second round of funding. So our initial round of funding was enough to get us through the first year to really prove the concept of the business. And then once we started seeing the traction and we knew that we could grow it even further, we put together kind of a, what I would say like our later stage business plan and said, okay, if we had X amount of money, we could market this into other cities. These are things we'd like to build with our product. So at that point, we had enough traction on the site to know that the basic idea was going to work. And at that point, we went and got the funding to grow the business um, to make it bigger bigger business overall. Wow. And so at your company, how many people work in the office? Because I'm curious to know, as, as a mom looking you know, for jobs and such, if a startup is a good place for a mom to work. Because um, it seems like it might be overwhelming, but maybe not. Let me know what you, what you think. Well, I think a startup is a great place for a mom to work. I find that um, we tend to attract a lot of parents to our company, and I don't think it's just because we're a company that focuses on helping a need that parents have. I think part of it is that at a startup, it's really a great um, place for creative energy. And I find that moms who are debating about going back to work or not, they're usually looking to find something to do that's maybe a little more personally fulfilling um, if they're going to make that leap. And I think the other thing is that at a startup, um, it's a little more flexible. So you're still going to be working longer hours, but there's flexibility. So if you need to pop over to a child's preschool play or make it, make it to a kid's dentist appointment, I think that at a startup, the same way that the company is being flexible and expanding and growing their business, you're likely to find a culture there that also embraces that. Oh, wow. I would love to work there. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of other moms that would love to work at startups as well. So maybe you can look in your own areas and find out what type of things that you're passionate about as a mom and find companies that are starting up businesses similar to that. Yeah, I think it's uh, the other thing I would add is that startups are at a place where they're growing too. And so I think when they're looking to recruit talent, they're probably more open to bringing in somebody who maybe has a mixed skill set or mm -hmm. um, looking to somebody who maybe hasn't done something in a long time, but they really see potential in that person. And I think as a parent who hasn't been working for a couple of years, it can be kind of intimidating to go into a big company where it feels like everyone's been doing it for the last eight years and you haven't. Whereas at a startup, if you have a skill set that's maybe a little bit more mixed, you know, a lot of times they're looking for a jack of all trades. And so if you haven't quite honed in on what you want to do, it's a good chance to go in, try a few roles, and then as the company grows, you can kind of further define what it is that you're going to be doing for that company. I think that's really exciting to hear because I know there's lots of moms out there that are worried about actually being able to find a job and find a job that would fit the skills that they have. So right. thank you so much oh, for welcome. coming today, Lynn. Thanks for having it was so me. nice to have you. Thank and you. We're so excited about um, Urban Sitter, who's also a uh, part of Mom Fair, and we'll be looking forward to working a lot with, more with you. Great. Thank you. Thanks.